All right, what's going on? The first weekend of Black Ops 6 beta is complete. It's been a fun weekend. We've been streaming it all over on twitch.tv forward slash RyanA10 underscore. And we plan on doing the same thing for weekend two. So if you want to stop by the stream, say what's up. That'd be greatly appreciated. In this video, I just want to give my first impressions, talk about what I loved and what I hated. But I want to keep it kind of short, so I'm going to limit it to three pros and three cons. Keep in mind, this is just the beta I'm going off of. I'm not glazing. I'm not hating. Just give my raw opinion. I'm not trying to sell you the game to keep you from buying it. Obviously, a lot of things can change between now and October 25th. So with that being said, let's get into it. First and probably most obvious, Omni Movement. Straight up, it was just so much fun with the movement. It took a little bit to get used to, but after a few games, I was having so much fun, honestly. You can sprint, dive, or run in any direction. Uh, it was so funny seeing people diving off balconies. People were sliding backwards, turning 90 degrees mid-dive in a gunfight. And it just doing all kinds of crazy stuff. It definitely added to the game in a positive way. It just made the gameplay so much smoother too. There were a few awkward moments when I would randomly dive backwards. When I was trying to reload or something, I would just dive to my left or right because I forgot that you could do it. But I imagine after playing with it for a little bit, it's something I'm gonna get used to. Next up is the gunplay. I wanna add that personally, I feel like snipers should be buffed. I know that's a very polarizing topic in the COD community, but I'm a huge sniper guy. I love when snipers are OP. I feel like it's it's just makes the game so much more fun. But you can hop on and do saw with any other gun. With the exception of one gun, there really isn't a gun that's too OP. You get five attachments, and if you add one of the perks, I forget the name of it, um, you can add an extra three attachments. So eight attachments on a gun. You can customize the gun to fit each playstyle, and I really enjoy being able to use whatever gun I feel like using and not being forced to use a specific gun just to compete in lobbies. All the beta guns felt smooth. The gun audio sounded pretty good too. Most of the attachments have no cons, which is huge. I feel like in the past CODs, I spent most of my time tweaking each gun with each attachment, trying to figure out what works for me. But this one is pretty straightforward. Um, not a whole lot of cons, so you don't have to worry about that. And the locking attachment is so simple. You just level up the gun, which I know is a weird brag, but I feel like the last two CODs, Unlocking attachments have been confusing, like Modern Warfare 2, you had to use a specific gun to unlock the attachment to use on a different gun. I hated that, that was so annoying. Lastly, the ability to take people as a hostage is awesome. You know, rarely does COD innovate outside of their basic formula, but Treyarch absolutely cooked this year. All the new innovations they've done just been amazing. And the hostage is part of it. I really didn't even get many opportunities to do it myself, but the clips I'm seeing on YouTube and Twitter are just straight up hilarious. You can talk to the person and hear them, and I know there's gonna be so many funny clips this year with this new mechanic. A few notable mentions I got are Winter Circle being back. It's funny doing the emotes at the end of the game, uh, the top three. Uh, there wasn't really a whole lot of bugs or crashes for me anyways. I think my game crashed one time, and I never really ran into any bugs that I can think of. Map voting being back is also huge, and the menu UI is so much more simpler than it has been the past few years, and it's such a small thing, but I enjoy it. Okay, before I start, I feel like I need to reiterate, I am not hating. These are just things I didn't enjoy about the beta. None of these things really made the game unplayable. I'm just simply stating things that I did not like. First off, the health. The time to kill is way too fast. There were times where I felt like I was being killed before I could even get a shot off. I would run around corners and before I could even pull my gun up, I was dead. And I may be a little slow, but come on. I don't know the specifics, but I feel like it's longer in Modern Warfare 3, and I think they kind of nailed it with the time to kill. The health regen takes way too long. I think I've seen on Twitter where it takes about four seconds maybe to fully regen. Now the beta mats were all pretty small and that didn't help any, and I was constantly running into dudes and getting dropped because my health was low. Now you can rock stems, which helps a ton, but I feel like if you don't use stems, you're at a huge disadvantage. So it kind of forces you to use them, and I don't want to complain too much about that because that means less people are using stuns and flashes. Next con is the grenade spam. Can't tell you how many times I would be in a gunfight, and out of nowhere, six grenades were landing on me. It was so annoying. I don't think flat jacket perk was even in the beta, so there's no way to counter it unless you use trophies, but those take time to fill up, and I felt like the range on them was so small. Honestly, I feel like we need the pick 10 system back. I think that's going to help the most with it because a lot of people are going to sacrifice their lethals and their tacticals for an extra perk or an extra attachment. The last thing I got on the con list is the maps. Now, I know these aren't going to be the only maps that are in the game and they only gave us a handful of them, but I wasn't a huge fan of the map designs for these maps. I feel like they were really small and really open. It didn't help 
with the last two things I just mentioned with time to kill and grenade spam, there are a lot of places to head peek. So if you like to run and gun, you're in a lobby with campers who have decent aim, you're probably not gonna enjoy it. And I hate to mention any names, but Scud might be top 10 worst map of all time. It was so open, you could see across the map and there was the satellite to camp at. People were just sitting up there the whole game. A few small gripes I have was it seemed like packet burst was too common. It wasn't enough to really affect the game, but it kind of got annoying sometimes. Snipers were too weak. Now, I wasn't a huge fan of the new HVT mode. I didn't think it was that fun. Um, it felt kind of slow, and I didn't really even get the point system. Overall, I had a lot of fun playing the beta. I will say the lobbies were sweaty, but that's pretty common for a beta weekend. I'm really looking forward to the game's release October 25th. If you're a COD fan, there's a lot to be excited about. Camo grinding is going to be fun. Each mode has their own mastery camo, so Warzone has mastery camos. Multiplayer has its own, and Zombies has its own as well. Zombies is looking promising. Rank play should be fun, and as of right now, I'm thinking God is going to have another good year. Now, that may change after release, but as of right now, I'm looking forward to playing Black Ops 6. Uh, what did you all think of the beta? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. It helps a ton, and I'll catch you in the next one.